Hey, Spooky Sooner here. I got a collection of different stories about Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't yet liked the video, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. There is a legend about Valentine's Day that has been passed down through the generations. It is said that if you have broken up with your love on this special day, you will be cursed with bad luck for the rest of your life. The legend says that a heartbroken woman, scorned by her lover on Valentine's Day, placed a curse on all those who broken up on this day of love. It is said that she summoned the spirits of the lonely and desperate, and they were cursed to wander the streets of the city forever, searching for a valentine but never finding one. People say that if you see a group of people walking around on Valentine's Day, looking sad and lonely. They are the ones who have been cursed by the heartbroken woman. It is said that they will never find love or happiness, and that they will be doomed to wander the city forever, searching for their one true love. If you see an individual like that, do not hook up with them on Valentine's Day, or you will suffer the same fate. The legend has caused many people to be extra cautious on Valentine's Day making sure not to break up with their valentines, and to avoid the victims of those who have already gone through it, to avoid being cursed. So be careful on Valentine's Day, because you never know who may be cursed with the legend of the heartbroken woman. There is a legend about Valentine's Day that says if you receive a bouquet of one dozen roses, but it turns out to be 13 red roses, and the extra rose is a dead rose, it means your true love is cursed. According to the legend, if you receive this bouquet, you must immediately bury it in the ground to break the curse. The legend says that the 13 red roses represents the 13 lovers who are lovers of the heartbroken witch. The witch was betrayed by her one true love on Valentine's Day, and in revenge, she cursed random couples with a dead rose in their bouquet to join in her suffering. Those who receive the bouquet of 13 red roses with one dead rose are said to be the next in line to suffer the curse. The only way to break the curse is to bury the bouquet in the ground and make a wish for true love. Many believe that this legend is true, and that receiving a bouquet of 13 red roses with one dead rose is a sign of impending doom. Some even go as far as to bury any bouquets of red roses they receive on Valentine's Day, just to be safe. Whether or not the legend is true, it is a cautionary tale about the power of love and the dangers of betrayal. It serves as a reminder to always be kind and true to those we love, or risk suffering the consequences. There was a young couple who were in love. On their one year anniversary, the young man decided to pull out all the stops and planned an elaborate surprise for his girlfriend. He rented out a fancy restaurant and hired a string quartet to play their favorite songs. He even purchased a special piece of jewelry for her. As the night went on, the young woman couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. She kept getting glimpses of a strange figure in the corner of her eye, but when she turned to look, there was nothing there. She continued to have an unsettling feeling while sitting at the table. She heard the faint sound of a violin in the background. As the couple was finishing their meal and the band had departed, it was just the two of them. The young woman's suspicions were confirmed. A ghostly apparition appeared at their table suddenly, holding a bouquet of wilted roses. The ghost was a former lover of the young man at the table. She had died tragically on Valentine's Day many years before by her own hands. She was very much jealous of any woman talking to the man, and would constantly cause scenes in public. She was completely obsessed with the man. In the end, the jealousy got to her, and she couldn't take it anymore. The ghost was filled with jealousy and anger, flipping over the dinner table and chasing the couple out of the restaurant. They were pursued until exactly midnight. After that terrifying incident, the ghost began to haunt the couple every year on Valentine's Day, wherever they would be, wherever they were at, whether they were at a restaurant or at home. The ghost would find them and stalk them relentlessly until midnight. 
It is said that if you hear a sound of a ghostly violin on Valentine's Day, it is the spirit of the former lover, warning you to beware of jealousy and greed. There is an urban legend that in an unknown city on Valentine's Day, if you go to a bridge and place a single red rose on the railings, your true love will appear in front of you. Many people have tried this ritual, but no one has ever reported seeing their true love appear. Some say that the legend is just a myth, but others believe that it is real, and that the true love appears as an apparition or ghost of a former lover. After the ritual and seeing the ghost, people have reported strange occurrences in their lives for years after. Instead of meeting their soulmate, they attracted unconditional love, but from a ghost. Regardless of whether or not the legend is true, it has become a popular tradition for people to visit the bridge on Valentine's Day and leave a rose in hopes of finding their soulmate. Would you try this ritual if it meant you could find the person that would love you unconditionally forever? Would you risk being relentlessly pursued by a ghost for the rest of your life for that love? That is the question you must ask yourself before you go visit the bridge. There is a popular urban legend about Valentine's Day that involves a cursed box of chocolates. The legend goes that many years ago, a young man named Johnny was deeply in love with a woman named Marilyn. Johnny wanted to do something extra special for Marilyn on Valentine's Day, so he decided to buy her a beautiful box of chocolates. Yes, this was a long time ago, if you were wondering. Johnny went to the local chocolate shop and found the perfect box of chocolates. As he was about to pay, the shopkeeper hesitated and told Johnny that the box of chocolates had a curse on it. The shopkeeper explained that the chocolates had been cursed by a very upset, scorned woman that was presumed to be a witch in the town. She had put a curse on a random box of chocolates in the shop, hoping anyone who gifted the chocolates would suffer the same heartbreak that she had experienced. Johnny didn't believe in curses and decided to take the risk. He bought the chocolates and presented them to Marilyn on Valentine's Day. It sounded like a bunch of rubbish anyways. She was delighted and eagerly opened the box. But as soon as she took a bite, she started to feel sick. She collapsed on the floor and was rushed to the hospital, where she became fatefully ill and died in Johnny's arms. It was discovered that there was poison contained in her bloodstream that came from the box of chocolates. Ever since that fateful Valentine's Day, people in the town have whispered about the cursed box of chocolates and warned others not to buy them for their Valentines. Some say that the chocolates still exist at random in the town, and that anyone who eats them will suffer the same fate as Marilyn. Others believe that the legend is just a story created to scare people away from buying chocolates on Valentine's Day. Regardless of whether or not the legend is true, it has become a well-known part of Valentine's Day folklore. There was a woman named Lily who lived in a small town. Everyone knew her as a very sweet and kind person. She was always busy with work and did not get approached by many men. Actually, she was never really approached at all. This caused her to become extremely lonely over time. However, every year on Valentine's Day, she would receive a bouquet of flowers from an unknown admirer. The first time she got it, she felt weird about it, but over time, she learned to appreciate the gesture from a secret admirer. She had no idea who could be sending them, but she always looked forward to their arrival. One year, Lily finally decided to try and find out who her secret admirer was. She asked all her friends and family if they knew anything, but nobody seemed to have any information. She even went as far as setting up a surveillance camera in her front yard to try and catch the delivery person in the act. On Valentine's Day, Lily received the usual bouquet of flowers but this time she noticed that there was a strange note attached to the ribbon. It read, Meet me in the old abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town at midnight. It sounded like a setup. Lily was hesitant, but her curiosity got the best of her, and she decided to go anyways. When she arrived at the warehouse, she found a man holding a candle in the middle of the building. Against her better judgment, 
She approached the man in the dark abandoned warehouse. She nervously asked the man if he was the one that had been sending her the flowers all those years. As Lily approached, the figure reached out and handed her a bouquet of flowers. Suddenly, the figure spoke in a deep, raspy voice. Lily, I have been watching you from afar for many years. I have fallen in love with your beauty and your kindness. I know this may seem strange, but I am a cursed being who can only come out on Valentine's Day to express my love for you. Will you be mine? Lily was shocked, but something about the figure's words touched her heart. She reached out and took the flowers, agreeing to be his valentine. That leap of faith from Lily caused the curse to finally be broken, and they were able to be together forever. The man was cursed after he had mistreated a very kind and sweet woman in the town everyone knew very well. He cheated on her, and she couldn't handle it. Everyone knew what happened, and the girl was so embarrassed. So embarrassed, in fact, that she ran away from the town, and no one had ever seen her again. The man had been cursed after that for many years. When the curse was broken, he vowed to treat Lily right. When the townspeople whispered about the strange love story, and it became an urban legend passed down through generations, some even say that if you go to the old abandoned warehouse on Valentine's Day, you may see Lily and her lover reunited once again. There's an urban legend that on Valentine's Day, if you receive a bouquet of flowers with 13 red roses, it means your significant other is cheating on you. According to the legend, the 13th rose is the symbol of their betrayal and infidelity. Many people believe that this tradition dates back to ancient Rome, where it was believed that the red roses had the power to reveal the truth about a person's loyalty. It is said that if you received a bouquet of red roses with 13 flowers, you were supposed to count the petals, and if there were any extra, it meant your partner was being unfaithful. Despite the lack of evidence to support this legend, many people still fear receiving 13 red roses on Valentine's Day instead of the usual dozen, believing that it could be a sign of their partner's infidelity. Some people even go as far as to avoid red roses altogether on this holiday, choosing other types of flowers instead. Whether this legend is true or not, it has definitely added an element of mystery and suspense to the holiday of love. There's a story that on Valentine's Day, if you go out into the city alone at midnight and whisper the name of your true love in the wind, you will be reunited with them within the year. Many people have tried this ritual, and some claim to have had success. However, there are also those who claim to have been cursed by the ritual, never finding their true love and living out their days alone. Some say that the key to the ritual's success is to truly believe in the power of love and to have pure intentions. Others believe that it's simply a matter of luck. Some witnesses have claimed to meet with their long-lost one that had gotten away in the most extraordinary circumstances. People that were a world apart had absolutely no shot of ever seeing each other again, have met on trains, at airports, or at concerts. Is it really luck or is there some mystical presence governing the unknown to link lovers together? In some other cases, individuals had expressed that they were driven by lust from a previous experience from the person they were calling. These individuals had met misfortunes, such as losing their jobs, experiencing car crashes, break-ins, losing family members, and other misfortunes in the year after the ritual. It is rumored that the individual's name mentioned in the wind heard the call for companionship, but denied the request. Whatever the case may be, the legend of the Valentine's Day ritual lives on, tempting people to take the chance and see if it truly works. Would you take the risk of misfortune to find your long-lost love? The question is, do they love you back?